In recent days, curfews have been enforced in the flooded counties due to a rise in criminal activity. Daniel Miskell is in Breathitt County with more on the efforts to keep people from being victimized once again. I'm here in Jackson, and as you can see here behind me, this is one business that is still trying to pick up the pieces after last week's deadly flooding. And just to kind of give you an idea, I caught up with Breathitt County Sheriff John Holland earlier, and he told me that they have confirmed seven drownings, one additional fatality, and there are currently three people who have been reported missing. This county is still very vulnerable, and on top of all of that, there are people who are trying to take advantage of this vulnerability. So Sheriff John Holland wants to make absolutely certain that the public knows Scamming and looting will not be tolerated. Reporting of uh, people doing roofs on houses, uh, rebuilding homes, and personating FEMA representatives, and even paving asphalt asphalt roads later. There could be anything with uh, FEMA. Sheriff John Holland says Breathitt County is being targeted by scammers and are swiftly putting a stop to it. And I've actually spoken to the FBI this morning and we're working with them to come up with some stuff to stop this. Breathitt County has now enforced a curfew from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. It's being enforced to ward off looters, and Sheriff Holland says residents need to keep an eye on their valuables after hours, starting with their side-by-sides or ATVs. And also Cadillac converters from uh, washed away vehicles. That's a big, big thing in this area. Where from copper wiring out of a home or just anything of value that they can get a dollar out of. In addition to the curfew, Breathitt County's Animal Control Office has asked for people to start tying up their pets effective midnight tonight. Because we don't want to pick nobody's animals up. Uh, that's something, you know, we don't want to do that. Uh, but the animals that stray, we need to try to get them picked up as soon as possible. If they need help, we need to get them to the shelters and get them help. Another form of help the Animal Control Office has to offer is food for pets, but they're asking for other donations. Right now, what our biggest need is for dog houses, um, tie-out chains, 10-foot tie-out chains, some of the screw rods that screws into the ground, and dog collars. That's kind of our biggest demand right now. So to report any criminal activity, Sheriff John Holland says you can call the Sheriff's Office, the Attorney General Daniel Cameron's Office, or you can contact KSP. Reporting in Jackson, I'm Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. Many areas of southeastern Kentucky need help right now. Fox 56 is partnering with the Christian Appalachian Project in its effort to collect money to help those impacted by the historic flooding. Scan the QR code on your screen with your phone's camera to donate. CAP will provide safe shelter and food to fellow Kentuckians in need. And we hope you can join us Friday night at 7 as we tell stories from the flooded areas and have more on how your donations will help. Join us for Tragedy in the Mountains Friday at 7.